Another anime uh, to bring you another anime review, and uh, this one is of Kotorasan, episode seven, and this one is called "In This World I." And all right, uh, this episode starts off with um, Manabe and her grandfather having a little montage scene of them fighting the good fight together and braving the elements and exploring and then we can find out at the end of that little skit is they wanted to have a mixed bath in, in, in the hot springs and it was closed for renovation so no hot springs and then you know and then the credits roll and then they're depressed sitting in a you know in a corner about how they'll never get get another chance at this it, it, it's all funny um we can also get that uh, both girls, uh, both Katura-san and Muratani, uh, cooked. And Muratani made this like weird spinachy thing, I don't know, that didn't look too edible. Um, and when the, and they were like, and the, the president and vice president were like, oh, he'll, he'll eat it. And you know, it's funny too because the president loves the vice president he's always acting super cool like nah I, I didn't care if i saw you naked what are you talking about girl but uh but i think you have a funny scene where she's picturing you know why won't he, you know she's she's mentalizing this and then uh Toro's like you could do it president but um you have you have Manabe eating uh uh the horrible food and and then he She's like, oh, how did you like it, uh, Nortani? And he's like, here, you have some. So they both eat the, the whole horrible food themselves, and they turn multiple colors in their face. And then after that, it's like they're trash. I mean, I don't know what she put in it. I don't know if she put, like, fresh mushrooms or, 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 or like, soaked it in alcohol or whatever she did, but they were trash afterwards. And then she, Nortani's all trying to rape rape him and he's down to his underwear it's like no she's all like ooh, ooh, ooh. and then Katora-san is breaking it up it's hilarious and Katora uh, and then uh, she's like well maybe it's not enough and then Mortani is like yeah maybe it's not enough so I'll strip too and then she strips down naked and then tries to fucking make out with uh, Katora-san and it, it's the way that's done is hilarious now we also get a scene between um the grandfather and the, the, the monk priest dude and uh, he talks about how he brought the mom to see her how she's doing you get the flashback and the mom still hates her obviously so like she destroyed her family she'll, she'll never fucking you know we, we won't talk because we'll just end up hurting each other again and the mother still has that look on her face like she she still hates her life and her daughter and there's still a lot of pain for the mother character um so then the next day happens, uh, and what's his face wakes up first, and the three of the, the three of them are in bed together, uh, Moritami, Katora, and uh, Manabe is sleeping in between them, and and uh, Moritani's naked. Manabe, you, you can't. Uh, Manabe is not naked, but he, he I guess he had pants on. It was all funny. So he's like, oh no, I'm gonna be in trouble. So he runs away. They wake up, and then. They, they put the idea, the president and VP put the idea into uh, Mortani's head that that they were all have they were all hooking up and having sex and and then she asked Katora side and Katora's like yeah it was rough you know handling you guys last night and she's like wait a minute you mean the three of us and uh, you have a scene where she pictures it and she's like early in the morning and uh, Katora son has this thing where uh, where Katora has this thing where she. She's cat-like sometimes. Uh, they try to add that, so she kind of squatted out of her eye. She's like, no. She yells at both of them for thinking such dirty thoughts. Um, and then you have, you know, they're leaving. They have one. It's one week before school starts, and they need to get them their homework, and so they have to leave. 
and uh, you get the grandfather pulling aside uh, Manabe aside, and then you have a, a final talk between the monk and uh, the Tura, and they're talking, and she's in her old room, and they're talking about how that day, and you get more of that scene in the flashback, and he says, you'll promise to bring your mom back. She goes, well, I, it's good to know she's back, and, you know, she walks away happy, and he's like, I, you know, it's great to see her with such a smile, and in her head, she's like, my mom was watching me, and she thought that was a good thing, even though her mom still hates her, um, and you can't help but feel for her in this, this moment. Uh, and then they, they all bounce, they go, you know, they go back, and then she's, and then the, that's the first half of the episode. Now the second half of the episode consists of her trying to set up a non-date date with Manabe, and, uh, Moritani is, uh, training, it's not training, excuse me, studying, and, uh, which is pretty awesome, because the, the, her whole scenes are hilarious, with the whole dojo behind her, and different adults, and it, it's just funny. Um, and then you have, again, she's trying to, she's trying to get, call her, call him, but every time, uh, Tura calls Manabe, he, she gets, like, his phone is off, and so she keeps getting his machine, and finally she talks to the Prez and he, and the VP about it, and she's like, well, maybe he's hooking up with, uh, Moritani, and, uh, the VP is like, nah, she's too busy studying. And then the president's like, uh, then you find out that whenever Katora is around him, he starts to think of numbers. And the president's like, well, you got my interest, Pete. Let's go uh, spy on him. And they spy on him. They find out he's, uh, he was working as, a, as like, a, like a big, and you know, plush character dude handing out flyers. And you don't know why he's working. And, and the whole time, she, she's starting to go through a mini depression because ever since she heard her mom's back, it's dredged up. The horrible feelings and she's been having little nightmares about that nobody will love you everybody will leave you you shouldn't have been born uh, again delving back into the bag of darkness um, we also get a, a nice little flashback uh, as they were following after they were following which is uh, following him which is of why the Prez loves the VP so much and that's because when they were kids and kids were teasing her about her mom committing suicide, he defended her, and he said he read her book, uh, the mother's book, and, uh, you know, she's been in love with him ever since then, and, uh, Kachora's crying and commenting about her big boobs and comedy, I don't know, it's all hilarious. Um, and then we finally, you know, then Nortani breaks away at the end of the day and ends up going to Kachora's house, Kachora explains to her what's going on. Uh, it's grace to her, her homework. Then she's asked what's going on. And then what's her face starts having bad thoughts about oh well, you know, about her getting with them and then she feels bad about it, so she hits herself in the head so much she knocks herself out. And you know, Katora thinks about it. She's like, Well, you know, she does like what's this uh Manabe and she still values me as a friend and likes me too. And uh, the same with the others, everybody's so good to me, you know. So the next day rolls around, you know, it's right before they start school, it's uh, September 1st, and they go into the club room, and it's set up for a party, and lo and behold, it's Victoria's birthday, and that's what the grandfather pulled from the side to talk to him about, so he threw a birthday party, he got her present, she cried uh, a little, and there you go, and that's pretty much how the episode ends with them singing her happy birthday, and she's really feeling uh, loved. Now, the next episode, I believe, is called It's Not a Date, so obviously it's them going out. Uh, and what did I think about this episode? Now, I know some of you out there might be disappointed that we didn't get more of the mom or interaction between the mom and the daughter, but I, I feel like the mom is going to be eased into the series, you know what I mean? And any thing, the mom is so toxic, you know? Such a toxic influence right now that Mere men, mere, they, they don't have to bring her all in to darken up the episode a little. Um, and like I said, the, to me, I know a lot of people want to see the dark, crippling, depressing stuff, you know, all the time. And that's what makes this show good. But like I said, you need to use it sparingly or else it loses its, its dramatic effect and just becomes a depressing anime. Um, what I like about this show is the balance between the light and darkness. 
about it, how it could go and get you to that depressed level, but then bounce you off with some humor. And that was the oddest hand gesture I've ever made. I don't even know what type of hand gesture that was. I'm going to veto it like it never happened. But anyway, um, you know, it, it lifts you back up. See, that that makes sense. Uh, but, um, you know, so I, I, you know, I do enjoy that. And I, I think you have to use that darkness sparingly. Because, again, it becomes tired and old. And this, this is really an anime about redemption and... Uh, uh, you know, and coming back from the darkness as opposed to going into it. So, uh, I do like that. I mean, right now the mom is steeped in darkness, so I'm sure eventually the point will be to bring her out of it. And then if we get a second season, maybe her father, but we'll see. Um, so all in all, I thought this episode was pretty good. It was, uh, you know, I've rated all three shows this week a three and a half in it. And I like the three and a half rating because I felt like it's better than a three, but it wasn't quite a four. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it, it's pretty good. It was a pretty good episode. So, you know, it's definitely enjoyable. It made me laugh. It made me uh, a little sad at times. And it gave you that awe moment a couple of times. So, very good. Very good episode. Uh, so, that's enough out of me. And like I said, next episode should be funnier and... We'll add some more stuff, but anyway, so that's enough out of me, and uh, click it up if you like it, comment if you must, and please, please, please subscribe if you can, and this is Alert Wolf signing off.